Hello everyone, long time no see, um, I've been away for four weeks to my friend in Florida and today I'm going to be doing my mission inspiration um, journal page for June. I'll just read through the list of prompts and uh, if you'd like your journal in and would like to join Mission Inspiration over on Facebook I will put the link below for you. So to go uh, without further ado I'll go through the prompts. So first prompt is glue down paper fabri fabric fragments for texture. Number two add texture paste stencil is optional. Number three, cover with a thin layer of paint gesso. Number four, add a focal image or images. Number five, stamp script or add hand journaling. Six, add washi tape or paper strips. Number seven, make marks or add splatters. Number eight, finish with a border frame of your choice. The suggested colour theme is blue, yellow and green. And the words uh, which we can choose, we could either use all of them or just one of them. And they are hope, promise, meditate, grow and chance. Um, I'm going with meditate for my journal page. So first of all, I need to glue down paper or fabric. So I have got this, um, I found this in my stash. It's like hessian, but it's lined for some texture. And this is linen card, which I've done the um, shaving foam technique on and it's got blues in and greens and that so I'm going to be using pieces of this so I'm just going to tear around and get the colours that I want which are here so if I do it this way and uh, just tear them just want these straight edges off I want there we are so they're my pieces for my page and as ever as always I'm going to be using my matte mod podge for to, to um, adhere everything to the page and I have got a brush So let's make a start. I'm going to add my paper. It's, it's a bit thicker than paper. Um, I'm just giving the coat. Um, as I'm adding paper and texture, I've not given my page a my pages a coat of gesso like I would usually do um, because I'm going to be covering them anyway so. This will give it a nice um, sheen to it. In fact, I think I might move that over.
and I'm using my Dilutions A5 journal book for this um, um, mission. If I can get it up. There we go. So I'm just going to cover the whole of my page and um, put paper fragments and fragments of Hessian as well. This piece won't stick down. Little nuisance. So I'm just going to lightly go over the whole of the page now, double page spread now, and just add the last of the hessian. So 
some of it isn't lying flat but I can overcome that by uh, uh, using my stencil which I'm going to use so that's everything all covered now I've given everything kind of a covering of um, the Mod Podge and I'll give a quick blast with the heat gun just to dry it before I move on to add texture paste Okay, so now that's dry, I've got this stencil from Clarity Stamps and I'm just going to use the Imagination Crafts Structure structure Paste. Might be a good idea if I had a palette knife. And just go over in certain areas, I'm not going to do lots of areas I just want to mainly areas that I've not got paper I think So I'll give that a quick blast with the heat gun. Okay, so now that's dry. And the structure paste does dry really quick. Um, number three is cover with a thin layer of paint or gesso. So I've got my, and I'm going to use, um, it's called, it's from PV, PBO, High Viscosity Studio Acrylic Paint. And this is um, iridescent green blue. So I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here. But I want it, I don't want it quite, I want it watered down. I need to add some more water. Just kind of want to give it a colour wash.
so I'm happy with that now. I like the way it's darker in some places and paler in others. So that's I'm really pleased with that now. And I'll give that a quick blast as well. Okay, so I've got this image out of a magazine of a woman meditating and I've just torn round the edges. And I'm not sure whether to put it there. To put it there. I think I quite like it there because there's not as much texture that side, uh, this side as that side. Yeah, I think I might put it, put, put her there. So again, I'm going to use my Mod Podge. generous coating also put a coat on the uh, page too this helps get rid of your bubbles mind the crinkles or the bubbles I think it just adds to the to the page so I'll give that a blast with the heat gun as well now Next step is to stamp script or add hand journaling. Right, okay. So I'm going to be using Indiglo Blue Series Choice stamp set, and there's this script here, and I'm using archival ink. I'm not going to put it on a block, I'm just going to stamp it up and do it freehand. Just stamp. I've got a feeling I've stamped it upside down. I can never tell. Hold on, that's right. I need to put an arrow on this to see. I think that's the way. Yeah, that's better. Okay. 
I'm quite happy with that. Now that I know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an arrow so I know that that is the right way up. She says. No, it's not. That's the right way up. So I'll leave that to dry. So that's that part done. And prompt number six means add washi tape or paper strips. So I've got this washi tape from my stash. Um, I'm not sure where I got it from, but um, I'm just going to add some strips here and there. There we are. Quite happy with that now. Um, make marks or add splatters. <laughs> I haven't done splatters for a while so I'm going to do some splatters for this. And I'm using, using Naples Yellow Hue, again a PBO high viscosity acrylic. I'm just going to put a little bit on there. And spritz some water on, get my fan brush, if I can find it, I think it is, I think I need a new fan brush, and just Yeah, I've missed doing this. I do like my splats. Took me a while to get used to doing them, but <laughs> Paul Mike was uh, covered in splats one day at his workshop. So that's Miss Black's done with the yellow, so I've used the blue, the green and the yellow now. And I'm just going to dry this off. Okay, so the last 
prompt is finish with a border or frame of your choice so what I'm going to do first I want the word meditate and I'm going to use these uh, Tim Holtz cling stamps and the alphabet so I'm just going to open this up I want to type meditate first and the thing I like about this is you can put them back in they come out separately and, you can, and I'm going to use black archival ink going to put it along the top let me think M E D I so if I do might be a good idea if I did I I first and then I can space it In effect, I'm, I'm going backwards, and then I know I'll have enough space, I'll be enough space in between them all. I hope I'm not getting into shot. don't mind that they're not straight because just adds to the So there's my word, my my word, and um, this is um, I managed to get this. I think it was either Joanne's or Michael's in the clearance, and I've been after these stamps for ages. So uh, I'm really chuffed. I managed to get them. They come. They're going to be used an awful lot. Um, so I just now need to finish with a border and what I'm going to use I'm going to use my new oxides and I just want um, I'm going to use broken china and I managed to get these in um, America as well and I paid I didn't pay as much as what the charge in the UK so 
I just fancied a change so I'm going to use broken china and just distress around the edges and that is going to be my frame um, if you've not tried these oxides before I would recommend them the background you can create with them is amazing um, go on to YouTube and have a look at how Tim Holtz and um, a lot of other crafty uh, crafters use them and he's just brought out another 12 so and some of my favourite colours are in there as well so I'm really chuffed I'm just waiting for them to arrive now so it tones in really well with the um, with the paint I've used too so that is my completed June mission inspiration challenge um, I hope you have enjoyed I will just bring you camera nearer so you can have a quick a look there we are um, as always at the end of my video I will have some still photographs of the um, journal page please join us over on the Facebook group uh, Mission Inspiration again I'll put the link below and um, all I can say is thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed please give a thumbs up like and share with your friends until next time happy crafting bye bye